Hey guys, welcome back to the lab. In this video, we're taking liquid nitrogen and putting it in a vacuum chamber to see if it will change from a liquid to a solid. I've seen videos online of other companies trying this experiment and actually solidifying nitrogen in their lab. So can we replicate that experiment here in our lab today? Let's give it a try. I flipped the gauge around on my vacuum chamber so that when we place it upside down, we can still get a visual readout. And now we can take our little dish, fill it up with liquid nitrogen right in the center, go ahead and attach our vacuum chamber and turn the pump on. Look at the way that vibrates. Check this out. It's actually vibrating right now because there's a positive pressure. As the nitrogen is expanding, it's trying to lift this off. It's almost like an air hockey table. Everything's set, let's expose the vacuum port and turn on the pump. Okay, it is pulling vacuum. We're at three inches of mercury. Liquid nitrogen is still boiling. Now theoretically what should be happening here is as we remove the atmosphere from the jar, the boiling point of the nitrogen should drop. So it may get to a point where it actually starts crystallizing and freezing. Right now we are at 11 inches of mercury and the vacuum is fighting that nitrogen because the nitrogen is expanding and the vacuum is working really hard to counteract that. So about 14 inches of mercury right now, I'm noticing the bubbling of the nitrogen is actually reducing, which means it's cooling down to the point where the liquid may start to think about crystallizing. Oh, you know what we should do is put a little bit of styrofoam underneath to help insulate it, because right now, I bet the plastic it's sitting on is quite warm. Okay, cool, so I'm actually gonna stop this right now. Let's let the pressure back in, and I'm gonna stick a roll of duct tape underneath it. Wow, that's cool. I got a roll of duct tape with a little glass lid. We'll just stick that underneath there, and that should insulate the bottom now enough that where it doesn't draw heat from the plexiglass. We'll add a little more nitrogen just to keep things happy. Cool, now you can see the nitrogen vapor that should slowly disappear and become very clear. Wow, the nitrogen has these little bursts that pop up very erratically. Yep, just like that, that's amazing. I don't know what's going on there, but it's like a little explosion from the bottom every now and then. Wow, that was a good one. This thing's working hard. Man. You know what, we're down to about 18 inches of mercury right now, but it's getting hard to see through this glass jar. So I think what we're gonna do is stop the experiment here, transfer this into the pressure cooker, and then with the acrylic lid, we should get a lot better view. Still looks pretty chunky. I wonder if it's just frost that got down in there from the atmosphere. All right guys, so update. I've cleaned everything out of the jar so there are no little chunks or crystals in there. We're gonna pour in fresh liquid nitrogen, and then we're gonna use the pressure chamber this time so that we can get a good clear look through the acrylic and see exactly what's going on. All right, everything's set, let's get it pumping. Now we seem to have hung up right around 19 inches of mercury here. 19 and a half. Come on, you can do it! You're so close! Oh shoot. My little filter that I built for this thing, the hot glue just melted because this is getting too hot. Maybe I should use a little nitrogen to cool it down. Huh? Yeah, it's so, so hot. It's just repelling right off, it's not even doing much. So we're at 21 and a half inches of mercury, making very slow progress. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to do it. <laughs> and my vacuum pump's going crazy, spilling oil all over the place here. All my hot glue's melting. This thing's just hanging by a thread right now. I've got electrical tape holding this filter together so it doesn't push oil clouds all over my workshop. Electricity and snow, is it a good idea? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Makes for some good snowball snow after warming up. So we're at 22 inches of mercury now. We're making pretty slow progress, but it is progressing. If you look at the nitrogen now, we've only got a little bit left. A lot of it's been vaporized. So let's keep this thing going until there's absolutely no nitrogen left. And then if we introduce the air back in, if something does liquefy, then we'll know we did it. Because right now I'm having a really hard time seeing anything frozen down there. Oh, there we go. I think this is the last of the nitrogen. It's Okay, that's it. Our nitrogen is completely gone. And I don't know about you, but I didn't really see anything frozen down there. All right guys, so I'm actually a little bit discouraged. Even pulling 22 inches of mercury in a vacuum chamber, we were not able to successfully make solid nitrogen. So right now this container is still under vacuum pressure. If we open this valve, it'll let the air back in and we can take the container out. 
There we go. So we got a, a bunch of vapor, but we've just got a big frosty glass. There's nothing in there at all. No nitrogen, no solid. Whew, it's just very, very cold. Now, if I had a stronger pump, perhaps we could have seen the nitrogen actually solidify. I did get down to 22 inches of mercury, which I think is a pretty good vacuum, but it still wasn't enough to get it to transition. Even when the nitrogen got down to a very, very thin layer, I thought for sure it was going to flip over and it just didn't. It just evaporated. So if you guys have any ideas on how we could actually make this work, let me know in the comments below. Maybe it's something we could try in a future experiment. In the meantime, thanks for joining me for this experiment. I'll be looking for you in the next one. Talk to you then. Well, this is a lot harder than I thought. We may have a failed experiment. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for watching. And remember, I'm giving away prizes now on every new video. All you have to do to qualify is subscribe to my channel, ring the bell, and select to be notified when my next videos get released. The secret link to my giveaways will be pinned in the comments for the first 12 hours. If you like what I'm doing, show your support right now by giving this video a big thumbs up and share with a friend. I love you back, and I'll see you next time.